A pack of wolves was constantly moving around a place where soldiers were stationed. For such a very strange scene, the soldiers inside were not surprised at all. What exactly happened? Soldiers who fought bravely on the battlefield will inevitably be injured or even die, and the injured soldiers will be carefully treated and cared for by the military doctors in the barracks. There was a capable female military doctor in a military camp on the grassland. The female military doctor was from the local area. She knew some local medical skills and would go to the mountains to collect medicine from time to time. After joining the army, she learned some Western medical knowledge and skills and was able to handle some common surgical operations proficiently. When the battle was intense, she was so busy every day that she could only get three or four hours of sleep several nights a week. However, during a period when the war eased, the female military doctor had more rest time. One day she happened to have some free time, so she went up the mountain to collect herbs as usual. When she wanted to go to another mountain forest, she met a local herdsman who was herding sheep. Maybe it was because she went far away that time, and the herdsman kindly reminded her that there were wolves in the forest and told her to be careful. The female military doctor wanted to leave after thanking him, but she felt that she had arrived, and as long as she accelerated, there would be no danger. So she still walked into the forest. When she was about to go back after successfully collecting the medicine, what she was most worried about happened. She suddenly heard a burst of wolf howls, but when she was panicked and listened carefully, she found that the wolf howls seemed to be full of sadness, more like mourning. But she didn't want to stay there, because the wolves she had seen before were very fierce, especially they hunted the cattle and sheep of the local herdsmen. They were probably just too hungry, so they occasionally hunted the herders cattle and sheep, but they rarely attacked those herders, However, the further back the female military doctor walked, the closer the wolf howled. When she reacted and wanted to change direction, she saw the wailing wolf in the distance. She froze in place and didn't dare to move. She didn't know if the wolf saw her, or if she ran away, it would chase her. She was going to try to back away slowly while staring at the wolf. But before she took a few steps back, she saw that the wolf was walking very abnormally. Out of a doctor's keen intuition, she guessed that the wolf might have been seriously injured. But out of her instinct for her safety, she immediately thought that maybe the wolf was too hungry and desperate for food, so she figured it was best to run away then. After thinking for a long time, the female military doctor still wanted to leave first, at that time she still had many wounded soldiers in need of medical treatment and care, and that was the most important thing. However, she only cared about the wolf, so she didn't realize that there was a cliff in front of her escape direction. She thought at the time that she was in a corner, and there was no way out. Without waiting for her to think, the wolf slowly approached her. She stared at the wolf walking towards her. She was terribly panicked and desperate, but the wolf fell to the ground as soon as it came not far from her. The wolf didn't die, just stared at the female military doctor with its eyes open. Seeing this, the female military doctor felt that she was safe again. Naturally, she walked over to the wolf to see what was wrong with it. After approaching, it found that the wolf did not seem to be hostile, but seemed to be pleading. The wolf was very majestic, and a domineering male wolf, but it was covered with bloody scars. The female military doctor wondered if the wolf was hunting something more ruthless than it. Where did its companion go? Facing this scarred wolf, the female military doctor could only put down her many doubts first. She thought that she had just picked a lot of medicinal herbs to heal the wolf, and that the wolf was badly injured and probably wouldn't hurt her. She thought it was weak at the time, and probably not capable of attacking her anymore. The female military doctor carefully touched the male wolf, knowing that it was indeed approaching her for help. 
The female military doctor handled the wound skillfully for it. After it was over, the male wolf immediately got up and turned around happily. It looked at the female military doctor affectionately and left. After returning to the barracks, the female military doctor talked to the other medics about it. Others found it unbelievable, and even felt that the female military doctor was making up a story. However, after listening to the female military doctor say a lot of details, they believed it. They felt that they could only describe it in such detail if they had experienced it firsthand. After a long time, the female military doctor went to the mountain forest to collect medicine one day, and the mountain forest was not far from the mountain forest where she rescued the wolf. When the female military doctor entered the forest and arrived at a place with a lot of herbs, a wolf suddenly rushed towards her. The female military doctor was suddenly too frightened to think. When she reacted and was about to run away, she found that the wolf was as majestic as the male wolf she had rescued. When she noticed the scars on its body, she knew that it was the male wolf she rescued last time. The male wolf was not hostile and looked at the female military doctor with the same pleading eyes. The female military doctor thought the wolf looked healthy, and even judging by the way it was running wildly, it was very robust. Just when the female military doctor was puzzled, the male wolf immediately looked at her, and then turned to look in another direction. It ran a few steps in that direction, and then looked at the female military doctor, and repeated this action several times. After the male wolf's repeated actions, the female military doctor finally knew what it was trying to do. The male wolf was trying to make this her go somewhere with it. Something must have happened. The male wolf looked very anxious then. Then the female military doctor followed the male wolf, and as soon as she stopped, the male wolf would repeat the motion of turning its head and humming. Finally, after the female military doctor was taken to a place by the male wolf, the male wolf stopped. The female military doctor saw the scene in front of her very urgently. At that time, a female wolf who was giving birth to a cub was lying weakly on the ground. It turned out that the female wolf had a difficult labor, so the male wolf was so anxious. Fortunately, it met the female military doctor again, although the female military doctor never worked in the obstetrics and gynecology department, she was relatively familiar with the theoretical knowledge in this area, and the she-wolf's condition wasn't too serious, so she rescued it. After that, the male wolf happily rubbed against the female military doctor's leg, However, the female military doctor went back not long after, because her free time was not long. The female military doctor didn't tell anyone that she rescued the wolf, which was very abnormal. But others kept asking her, what happened? One day not long after, a pack of wolves suddenly appeared outside the barracks where the female military doctor was. After hearing this, the female military doctor looked through the window, she saw the male wolf she had rescued twice, and the male wolf also saw her and ran towards her, a few steps. Although the wolves were outside the barracks at that time, the majestic body of the male wolf was so recognizable that the female military doctor recognized it immediately. The wolves were not hostile, something might have happened. In order to prevent the soldiers from destroying the pack of wolves as interference targets, the female military doctor went out immediately. The male wolf really took the initiative to approach the female military doctor. After the male wolf rubbed her leg, it didn't take long for the wolves to withdraw. Except for the male wolf, the other wolves were walking around the barracks, and the male wolf was watching the female military doctor on the spot. The soldiers standing guard outside quickly asked the female military doctor what happened. The female military doctor just said she had rescued the male wolf twice and they had no ill intentions. Let's see what they were trying to do first. The sentry warrior could only agree first. 
However, no one expected that the group of wolves would walk around the barracks with a distance of dozens of meters and sometimes stared vigilantly in other directions, as if they were patrolling. After the wolves were indeed not hostile after the sentry warrior, they did not drive them away. What was more important was that the group of wolves were doing that kind of thing for several days in a row, which made the female military doctor's comrades feel very strange. So they all inquired about what the female military doctor had done. Later, after the female military doctor told the local people, who were familiar with the habits of wolves, about her deeds with the male wolf, the locals speculated that the majestic male wolf was probably the wolf king. They said that wolves were pack animals, one of them must be the wolf king, and they would fight for the position of the wolf king every once in a while. According to the description of the male wolf's guard appearance by the female military doctor, they speculated that it might be caused by its competition for the position of the wolf king. Wolves are said to have human nature, and that everything has feelings. The majestic male wolf probably won the battle for the position of the wolf king afterwards. Since the female military doctor had rescued the male wolf twice, it brought the wolf pack to repay her gratitude. This is today's story. Click to subscribe for more interesting stories.